Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. We're at our latest project here in Redondo Beach and we're moving irrigation in the 21st century. And what I mean by that is that how many times have you tried to, uh, or how many times you, if, if your sprinkler timer is located outside behind some bush with spiders and, and stuff, or if it's in a musty garage and it's, you've got stuff stacked against it, stack against it, you don't even know where it's at. Wouldn't it be nice if your timer could be located where it's at and you could just take your iPhone out and just program how much you want it to water or not water? Or better yet, what if it was Wi-Fi enabled and it could, a sync with the local weather stations and if it rains it shuts off everything and if it gets really warm for example in the summertime it actually gives you more water guess what it's here and it's rainbird and so we've got the rainbird guy uh, this is Dave White from rainbird and he's gonna show us how this is done in fact uh, we have old rainbird an old rainbird timer that uh, I mean, it, I mean, we we it was before the Wi-Fi happened. So what Dave did was he brought us a Wi-Fi enabled. It's actually going to hold this Wi-Fi, this little stick here. That's what makes all of it possible. So this Wi-Fi stick is going to go get inserted into here, and we're going to. He's going to show us how easy this is. Dave, you take it away. Absolutely. Thanks, Mike. So what we've done is we've enabled the controllers to link with home Wi-Fi networks so we have remote capabilities from anywhere in the world. As Mike said, we're also able to incorporate weather-based irrigation control so we're using our water intelligently. So what we're looking at is one of our older versions of the ESP-ME controller. So this is a modular controller. And what we've done is made a few changes so we can simply switch out the faceplate and we know that the new faceplate is ready to accept our link Wi-Fi stick which Mike showed you guys right here so in the controller it just goes right into your accessory port and all we need to do is swap out the faceplate so we'll go ahead and do that and in a matter of a few seconds we can unplug our ribbon take the faceplate right out We'll plug our ribbon right back in. And we will insert the faceplate. Let's <laughs> make that look so easy. <laughs> As it is. <laughs> there it is. Wow. Incredible. That's it. And so now once it gets programmed, which is really easy to do, it's gonna be in Wi-Fi enabled and will actually it'll actually, like I said, be tied in to the weather weather monitors doesn't get any easier than that does it and uh and then if you wanted to for some reason change that or let's say it was supposed to rain and it didn't and you still wanted to water um you go in here and oh check this out this this is it that's what it looks like the rainbird app it's a free app, I believe, right? It's absolutely free. We don't charge anything for access uh, to the Wi-Fi capabilities or for weather data uh, information. So in order to get this thing online, all we need to do is follow the prompts on the app. Uh, it'll walk us right through. We'll hit add controller, and this is gonna give us the step-by-step -step instructions on how to link this with our home Wi-Fi network, and then we have access from anywhere in the world. And if, and if you're older and you need an iPad, I guess this is also for an iPad too, right? Absolutely, okay. it's uh, certainly compatible yeah. with an iPad or a tablet application yeah. as well. So, so in summary, if you have an iPad, if you have an iPhone or a just smartphone, you don't need to, have to deal with a controller that's in a musty garage or in back of bushes, do everything from your phone. This is Mike with Enviroscape LA and David White from Rainbird signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA and Rainbird. Take care.